this is Optibotoms coming at you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new T800 Tech Noir version from the Terminator line from NECA Toys. Now this is the Terminator from the very first Terminator movie. In the clothes that he uh, stole off of a couple punks early in the movie, in a scene that we unceremoniously see Bill Paxton killed and then his buddy stripped of his clothes. As you can see, absolutely beautiful packaging on here with a classic Terminator look here on the side. In the year of darkness, 2029, the rulers of this planet devised the ultimate plan. They would reshape the past. The plan required something that felt no pity, no pain, no fear. Something unstoppable. They created the Terminator. As you can see, here is the Terminator. He comes with this really cool uh, laser pointer uh, handgun type of thing. He's got this Uzi 9mm and uh, uh, alternate hand because this hand right here looks like it's a closed fist. Yeah, and then that one's an open fist so you can actually hold the gun. Flip around here on the side, really cool picture. And on the back, basically what we're looking at is the specs of the T-800. The Cybernine Systems Model 101 Series 800 Terminator was sent back in time from the year 2029 to 1984 to kill Sarah Connor, the future mother of John Connor, the future leader of the human resistance. The Terminator tracks Sarah to the Tech Noir nightclub on Pico and makes its first attempt on her life. Fortunately for Sarah and for mankind, Kyle Reese, a soldier from the future sent back by John Connor, saves Sarah and helps her escape. And then you see other figures that are in line. The police assault, th this one is one that I'm really super excited about. The police station assault, I love the way that looks. And then the battle damage tech noir version, which again is going to be a wonderful variant to this figure. Uh, you've already seen my review of the endoskeleton. So um, that's about it for this guy. Uh, easily one of my favorite characters of all time in terms of movies and things of that nature. So let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is. <laughs> Now, when it comes to likenesses, whatever figure that NECA is creating, these guys know exactly what they're doing. Now, this is one of the best looking likenesses of Arnold Schwarzenegger that I probably have ever seen. Now, naturally, this is how he looked in the old 80s movie of Terminator. And you can see that there is a difference between how he looks here and how he looks in the new Terminator 2 version. Now, granted, this is a battle damage version, and uh, the hair is obviously different. But you can see how this one looks a lot older. Now, granted, these are supposed to be machines. They're not supposed to age. They're coming off assembly lines. Yet they captured the look perfectly on this. If you took this head and just put some battle damage on it and called this uh, a Terminator 2 version, it wouldn't look right. Because this is how he looked in Terminator 2. And this is how he looked in the first Terminator movie. And that's really not the only authentic thing. The most amazing thing that they do is beautifully recreate the outfit that he wore. Um, it's kind of a soft uh, rubber, so you can kind of open it up and you can kind of see the inside and you can see his shirt, which is a very kind of funky shirt. Uh, definitely got some weird pants going on here, some uh, army boots or whatever you really want to call them. Uh, I'm sorry, not army boots, but kind of like army cargo pants, I suppose. And then some really kind of cool boots right here on the side. Spinning it around here on the back, the jacket just looks even better on the back. That beautifully, accurately, and amazingly recreates how it looks. Even with like the gold zipper through the top part, just amazing detail. Got a little uh, patch here on the side. The other really cool thing is this chain um, is actually a metal chain. Wonderful touch absolutely wonderful touch you got the gloves with the uh matching kind of rhinestones i suppose that's here on the back and then the gun take this out of his hand if i can it gets in there pretty gosh darn good the gun itself is actually really nice the only thing that would make this uh, better is if it actually had like maybe a little red paint application right inside there kind of replicating the laser point but beautiful paint job on here, very nice uh, metallic silver paint on here, which really gives it a very nice real look to it. And then his other gun is the Uzi 9mm, uh, which it's just kind of black, there's nothing spectacular about it, but still really nice and very realistic nonetheless. Now in addition to those guns, he also comes with an alternate hand that, uh, well actually this is the alternate hand that was in the package. This is the hand that he was normally wearing, um, and then he just plug that in there and uh he's kind of got a little fist thing going on which you know i i don't i'm not a big fan of how that looks 
Um, that kind of looks derpy, if you ask me. Uh, but, you know, it's a nice extra accessory. Now, the articulation on this guy is just, you know, kind of standard for the NECA figures. Well, the NECA Terminator figures. The more recent Predator ones are a whole lot better. But uh, his head is kind of on this ball joint, so you get a lot of kind of twisting and turning and a lot of emoting that you can really kind of get with wherever you position his head. His arms are on these little swivel joints, so you can swivel about that far. They rotate, although they're really stiff, 360 degrees. Um, and then the elbow, that's about as far as you're going to get it bending up. I mean, it goes down, and that's about it. Uh, this one gets a little bit further. Um, well, not, maybe not even that much. Um, but then uh, you get some articulation here in the wrist rotates at the waist nothing at the uh at the thigh or the knee but his boots right above rotate so you can get some decent poses but really you're getting this because it's not an action figure but a wonderful kind of statue of the character himself now one other kind of neat thing is his head you can't pop it off and if you do have an extra head from uh terminator you can put this on there uh, it's just a ball joint but again as i said it looks different um, I mean, this this face just has a much more uh, Terminator 1 look to it. Um, maybe it's the hair. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But uh, you can have him be battle damaged, which isn't bad, but since they're coming out with the battle damaged version of him anyhow, uh, you don't really need that. But it's nice that you can swap out the heads and they can be slightly interchangeable. Now, as I said, if you are a Terminator fan, this is definitely going to be a figure that you're going to want to pick up. It's an absolutely stunning, stunning, Stunning likeness of Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the 80s in this character. And back in the day, there were very few figures that when you saw that look right there as you watched the movie, uh, there was not many times where you were not scared. I remember watching this movie as a kid and just that look, I mean, he just, it was intimidating. Something that has not, in my opinion, been even remotely recreated in the two most recent Terminator movies, that being Terminator 3 and Terminator Salvations. You do not get the same feel as how Arnold portrayed this character, this cold-blooded killer from the original Terminator movie, like you do with this figure. Nothing comes close. So as I said, I highly recommend picking this guy up. If you can't find them in retail stores such as Toys R Us, go ahead and click in the link in the description, which is going to take you to urbancollectibles.com, and you'll be able to get this guy and not have to worry about paying ridiculous markup fees. If you want them, that's the best way to get them. So until next time, guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.